Check out fifacoinsby.com for all your coin needs, links will be in the description below. What's up guys, Gunnister here bringing you another pack opening series, trying to get those best players. So I missed the 50k packs that apparently were out, but they released some 25k packs and there's a maximum of 10 that you could use. So I thought I'd open up all 10 and let you guys see what players I got. So we'll go into them and of course if I don't get a decent player then I'll have something to talk about. And today I'm going to be talking about next gen console madness. In terms of the first batch of consoles have come out now, you've got the Xbox One as well as the PS4 and for those of you who are fortunate enough to get hold of them or maybe unfortunate enough to get hold of them then there seems to be a lot of teething issues at the moment as we pull ourselves a Hummels there that's not bad but he's only going for about 4k or so but still it's not a bad pack but seeing that it, I invested 25k in that pack then it is a bad pack in terms of the individual player he's decent but his value is shocking and that's thing you got to remember these are not seven and a half k packs so if you got like Hummels in a seven and a half k pack you would have been happy but in this scenario you're not going to be happy you need to get a massive player and you'll see what kind of players we get these are only player packs so you know you're not going to get yourselves any other things that are worth any value any of those consumables that are worth a few k or so anything like that any of those chemistry stars that normally bump it up a little bit or even the bonuses where you get your four thousand coins or so but we do get ourselves kevin prince boating that's not a bad pull but again when he's on his own as the best player in the pack then it's not a decent pack when you consider you've spent 25k on it so let me know guys how many of you have managed to get yourself hold of an xbox one or a ps4 at the moment and also if you've got one let me know how they're getting on if you've got an xbox are you getting that horrendous sound from the disk drive spinning and all you can hear is those cogs wearing and it just sounds like it's going to take off like an airplane or i've heard on the ps4 that some have come out bricked and they can't even like display an image on the screen have you managed to get hold of one are you having issues or are you fortunate enough to have got one already on release date and had no issues whatsoever is it worth getting a console on release date because are you just a glorified beta tester by pre-ordering and having it on the day one because as much as they test them they're not going to be in the real life scenario as they would be in your homes and of course then any issues is going to take time to turn it around i've heard of people like with Xboxes as well as PS4s having to wait a few days to get a replacement one and of course is that replacement one going to be as good as they expect or is it going to have the same issues as before as you can see these packs here not very good at all they're all player packs you've got like a few rare players in them and you need to be pulling I'd say one of the top 20 players in the game not including informs to be making your coins back on it but of course why go for any other packs when those are kind of bonus packs there? Like at the beginning of FIFA, this would have been a decent pack, you know, Louise as well as Alba. But the prices have dropped considerably so much that you're not even making your 25k back at all. You're only probably making about half, if that, if you're lucky. I know Alba went for about 7k or so. And also, you're looking at like the other Brazilian left back there. He only went for a couple of K, so it's just not good at the moment. Prices are horrendous, but of course, if you do get fortunate and get one of those top end players, maybe the high rated Inform or Ronaldo, or if you're on Xbox, a legend, then of course, that your life's all sorted. So I think we've only got one pack left, and I thought, well, this is horrendous. I haven't even had a pack where I would say I'd have made my coins back from it, but we are fortunate enough to bow out on a high in terms of the packs and once I discarded all the rest of the players you've got yourselves Alaba there he went for about 23 24k on PS3 and then I discarded the rest of the players pretty much and actually made a profit on that pack one profit out of 10 and it's only for a few thousand coins horrendous but that's pattern luck for you let me know what you guys got did you open any bonus packs and that's it guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like below comment subscribe and thanks for watching